guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for being so consistent na salon i still do i want to body in today's video i am here at takugama chimpanzee sanctuary where they rescue chimpanzees and they're preserving wildlife as well to stop them from becoming extinct so i have heard a lot of amazing things about takugama and when you search Sierra Leone online you're looking for tourist attractions takugama is the first that you're going to see so i am excited to explore this area today and give you my opinions on the services and just the joining throughout so let's go so my name is benjamin thomas so takugama was established in november 1995 the work we merely do here is to rescue and rehabilitate orphans and captive chimpanzees the end goal is to release them back into the wild but we haven't made any release yet. People are still in the habit of pushing chimpanzees, the adult ones, for bushmeat. The babies, they have no meat value, so they will decide to keep as pets or sell for exploitation. So these are the babies who go out there rescued right across Sierra Leone in human homes. We used to have over 20,000 chimpanzees during the 60s and 70s. Yeah, about Takogama, we made the chimpanzee census 2011 and 12. We are only left with 5,500. So if a lot is not down, the remainings we have here will go into extinction. So lucky for us, Sierra Leone have declared the chimpanzees now as our national animals, 2019. And thanks to Dr. Jane Gouda for that. You ever heard of Jane Gouda? No. So Dr. Jane Gouda is a British hematologist. She's studied about primates for over 40 years. She's been with us from the very beginning. She was here in 1992. That was when she inspired the founder and the director, Mr. Bala, to set up the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. and, yes, and her last visit was in 2019 for the declaration of chimpanzees as our national animals. So it's prohibited to hunt them for bushmeat or even pet them, and it's punishable by law. So the chimps we have here, they are highly traumatized. What's the trauma they have? People kill the adult ones for meat. So the babies, before they get them, they've witnessed all what humans have done to them. So they are traumatized because they witness what they've done to their families before getting them. So when we bring them here, they're highly traumatized. They are babies, but they keep all these memories. So sometimes when they come around, when they see new phases, they get agitated. And when that happens, they feel getting the two rocks. Yes, so we advise you not to interact with them, not to wave at them, call out their names. We have naughty ones with two rocks, and they have excellent aims. The likes of Motes, yes. So your being here is to observe their behavior, okay? While he's doing that, you have your mobile devices, you can take pictures, make videos of them as much as you can. And we do appreciate to share them to all social media platforms so the world will know what you are doing. And also when you are taking pictures, you turn off your flashlight. Sometimes when you see the flashlight, it reminds them of poachers pushing them at night with guns. And you know, guns go with flashlight. So that will get them agitated. So um, you mentioned that Chimpanzees are now the national animals, animals of Sierra in Sierra Leone. Yes. Um, what are some initiatives by Takugama to not just tell people that all is bad, but to educate them yes. and find um, sustainability programs for them? Because I believe some people who kill chimpanzees, hunters, that's their way of life. life yes. So what are some programs okay. that can actually educate them in order for them to find another source of income? Okay. So. What happened, like in Sierra Leone, you know, they push them because for them it's a way of life. So now we are working in seven districts in Sierra Leone to help protect the remaining 5,500 and the ones we have here. So what our grandma is doing now, we are working with 26 schools in Sierra Leone. We have 14 in the rural district and 12 here. So these kids will go out there with teach them wildlife and preservation, environmental sanitation. So they go out there, they serve as ambassadors in their communities. So we are supporting them also with like school materials, we pay some of them school fees. And these places that we have the largest concentration of chimpanzees, what we are doing now, we are giving them livelihood support. Because for them poaching, timber logging, deforestation is a way of life. So if you want them to stop, you give them something in return. An alternative. Yes. So communities with no water facilities, toilet facilities, we give them these water facilities. Uh, toilet facilities also and build them feeder roads and also we are giving them now domestic animals to rear yes like chickens goat sheep 
If they want meat, they can just kill the meat and share it among themselves. If they want money, they can just sell this, the domestic animals also and share the money among themselves. So these are our partner donors. It's very important for you to know that we are not getting any funding from the government of Sierra Leone. So we mainly depend on foreign donors. But most of the things we're going to do in the corona pandemic, yeah, so it's been difficult for us. But we are working with the remainings we have now. And these sponsors also help us with our outreach programs. Yeah, so if, to go and rescue a team, we have other activities where we embark on uh, up country. So we need like vehicles, fears and everything. So they are helping us with that. On your left? So these are our corporate sponsors, our resident sponsors. They are in the country, they are helping us also. The likes of Tennis Embassy, Radisson Blue, QSA, Jiggy Bonta, Capital Radio. So Capital Radio, these are the, uh, the stations we do our uh, sensitizations. We are reach people out to know that our chimpanzees are our national animals. And uh, QSA actually offers us free Wi Fi here. Yeah. So the chimpanzees we have here, we want to get them in the sanctuary, move them into different locations and we move them by stages. Chimpanzees, they are the closest to we humans, 99 DNA genetically similar. All the disease that affects us can and will be transferred to them. If you have flu, cough, measles, polio, pneumonia, everything. So we want to bring them, mostly the babies, they come with machete marks, bullet wounds. So we place them in quarantine for 90 days to be sure of their health. After the 90 days, we send it to the nursery. So at the nursery, we have over 20 of them in the back of this painted wall. We have over 20 of them there. They are the credences, families, because they all came as orphans. When they start growing bigger, based on their relationships, best friends, we don't separate them. Move them to more bigger enclosures, where they later land their skis, and later they move to more bigger forested enclosures, where all the skis they land will be implemented. Welcome to the nursery area. So the babies I told you about, these are the phases of the babies. So as you can see, we are over 20 of them. So we're climbing up the stairs right now to get a good view of the chimpanzees. I don't think we're gonna go closer. <laughs> They're already making noise <laughs> i don't know i'm so afraid right now <laughs> it seems like they're hot headed as well <laughs> feeding them so that's the boy's sweet potato she's feeding them we we'll feed them varieties of food that's uh fruit leaves nuts so that's the boy's sweet potato do you know the bulgur wheat Mm -hmm. So the bulgur wheat, we cook the bulgur, a mixture of benimic, peanut, and a little palm oil. Very nutritious for them. Oh, wow. yeah. They love it. Yeah. So underneath where we are standing, underneath is where they sleep. There is a slide down under the steps. It has a tunnel leading to their den. At 5 p.m. they come in. When they are in, they get their dinner. So they are always happy to come in. In the E5, the six times a day. Yeah. So that's Matilda, the one walking on the road now that way. She's, yeah, she's the least female in the group. She's eight, eight years old. How do you know this is female? How do you know that is female? So the females are the one with the pinkish butt. The males, they have uh, the, the black butt and also you can tell, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell from their, 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 their male organ. <laughs> yeah. Are you laughing that hard? <laughs> Another question, huh? Well, they, you said they fight for women, so I wanted to ask if uh, they get married to themselves. Where no, you always see couples no, that like you no, see best friends? They meet randomly. They meet randomly. So the women get a say? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Or do they just, because yeah, they're just fighting for the woman? No. Or does she get to choose no, who woman, she wants? But, no, but the only thing is they are more attractive to the alpha males, the females, for protection and all. Of course, as ah, it should so be. Mark is getting... Yeah. Mark is getting part of females. Well, so most of the males mate with the females, but sometimes unknown to the alpha. 
But Mark is so a she's, very... So she's cheating. Yeah, she's... <laughs> no, because Mark is not their husband. All of them, they meet randomly. But because Mark is the alpha, so they are more attracted to him because of protection. The power. Yeah. Sophie, that's why they're animals. <laughs> because I... So the, underneath here, uh -huh. the group I told you about, the four, the four acres. This, this is, is where under, they sleep? Yeah, underneath. At the top is uh, the outreach office. Okay. Underneath here is where they sleep. Okay, where they are with iron. Yeah. Right. Does this forest have a name? Yes, so this is the Takugama Forest. Party Sanctuary National Protected Park. Oh, yeah. okay. So this all this forest here belongs to Takugama. But mostly the area is located is a uh, region, the Freetown. It's a uh, Freetown Peninsula Park, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a region. Mm -hmm. But this is Takugama itself. So we are covering over 120 acres. Okay guys. I hate walking by the way. Um we were on our way to Takugama Japanese Sanctuary. We were late. So we had to run and climb this hill and it was bad. And now we're in the Nash the park, the Takugama Park. And it's a nice experience. I get to do all the exercises that I don't do in Liberia. I know I'll get slim before I go back home. <laughs> but it is very nice to learn new things, understand things from other perspectives. And I'm learning so much. I didn't know about chimpanzees. So when you're, whenever you're in Sierra Leone, come to Takugama to experience this. I am, I'm about to cry. I want air. I need to breathe. <laughs> but, it means I will die if you don't let me have it. It means, it means I will die. I will die if you don't let me have it. So the babies uh -huh. normally does this when it's feeding time. If the one food from the mother Dramatic. or any other chimp, they will keep doing this until their wants is satisfied. Dramatic. Yeah. So we have this one. So they are, sometimes they do ask questions. If they see people are, does anybody here speak chimpanzee? My voice, please. <laughs> so we have other vocalizations you might try. But here we don't encourage visitors doing the vocalizations because the chins we have here, they're highly traumatized. Mm -hmm. oh, we're not okay. training them like that. They have no human interactions. Okay. Okay. They only interact at the nursery when they come as babies. But ah. when they, they move to a certain stage, the only time the caregivers interact with them is feeding time. Okay. Even when they are sick, they tranquilize them before they take them to the surgery. What's okay. tranquilize? So tranquilizer is an a, a antibiotic they give them to go to sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they are really strong, you cannot grab them by their Even when they are sick or less active, you cannot grab them by their arm. They are really strong. Yeah. You will quit your hand, come on. Yeah, so that's why here we encourage visitors to take a picture of them. Maybe when you visit the zoo, some day where chimps are there and more socialized and uh, more secured enclosure, you might do it there. But here we encourage visitors it's for our safety. And the last time I came, they were on, uh, they were on maintenance. So we could not come to this area. So we always stop at that area where they show us where they sleep. So through yeah. all the whole tour, how do you feel? Oh my goodness, I felt connected. Mm -hmm. Most time when I am experiencing nature, I feel connected to them. Because they are like 90... <laughs> ah, you do that to me, I'll not, I'll not, I just did that to you. You did not, you did not give me a positive response. <laughs> so most time when I am... Around something that reminds me about Africa and uh, about our people. Ants! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Jump off! Oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh!
Just an alert. Just an alert. I We have them a lot sometimes, you see them, and they sting really hard. Hey, huh? Sorry. <laughs> I have to so this is the natural wild, but still it's barricaded. And this is six acre enclosure. From four acres they come here, this is six acres. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here we have 14 of them. They're so in here, there right now. Yeah, so here, they are living as a wild chain. Wild. Yeah. They've gone through all the stages in the sanctuary. Mm. So if we have a suitable release inside, this group will be the first to be released into the wild. Uh. Yes. They have gone from quarantine, nursery, stage one, we had to land their skills later, move to the semi where we had to implement everything and come but to then this wild stage. None of them sleep here. No. So where we are standing, here underneath is where they sleep. You okay. see the tunnel there? There's a tunnel there with a slide door. So the caregivers okay, yes. yeah, so the just... caregivers will open the tunnel. And they will come in themselves. Yeah, they will come in themselves. At five feet when they are in they get their deal. So this is six acre. Enclosure, yeah. And if you can and see And this is the four? No. The no, four the four is acre the, is what we where we came okay. from. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So So they come on their own? Yeah, because they know the catch is when they come they get dinner. Mm. Yeah. The, our ambassadors. They represent the 118 chimps we have in the sanctuary and the ones in the wild, the 5,500 estimated lena. So they are here for adoption. It's a way of helping the sanctuary running. So the reason why we encourage visitors to come on board with guardianships program, it's very expensive to run this place. I mean, we have over 60 workers and also we have over 116 chimpanzees. So just for us to take care of one other chimpanzee per year it costs us over 1500 united states dollar to take care of one per year so you can do the adoption here you can do it online so they all have QR codes you scan them you get all the information you needed to know about the particular chimp you want to adopt okay um uh, sophie do you have anything to say overall after the tour yes i do i have a couple of things to say number one as he said as she said Sakugama um, Chimpanzee Central is located here in Freetown, Sierra Leone, and uh, it is really affordable affordable to visit. And this is like the top when you think about tourism is um, the number one place, the first place. And then before you can go into, before you think about the beaches and other areas. So if you visit Sierra Leone and then you want to get more connected to Sierra Leone, I will ask you, I will advise that you visit Sakugama Chimpanzee Resort because it has um, one of the symbols of Sierra Leone, one of the animals that is um, a symbolic animal in Sierra Leone. So just as how you want to visit the country tree, just as how you want to visit Number Two Beach, you have to visit Takugama and then see our animals. And uh, yeah. So how much does it cost to get it? To? So for foreigners, it doesn't matter whichever country you're coming from. It's two hundred Leone. That is ten dollars to have a full tour of the place going to um the forest area and then they will give you like full tour tell you everything you need to know about the resort and then for us that are um citizens if you are a sierra leonean and then you're coming back home you just need to have something that will show yes that you're a sierra leonean it's 70 leons and that is like um seven no it's not even seven dollars that is like four dollars Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So um, it has been really amazing getting a tour of this place. It's very beautiful. Um, we have something very similar in Liberia, but I didn't have a chance to see the Japanese. I just visited the forest, but it was really amazing learning things that I didn't know. Um, thanks to Sufi for bringing me. I'm and glad you enjoyed it. I did. Even though <laughs> the walking was, was too much, but yeah. it was a fun time. Uh -huh. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being so, so consistent. consistent. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell let's see everybody know my consistent now eh? yeah i do like thank you for being so consistent that is a slogan if you're making a match you put it on that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys bye bye see you on another video stay tuned because there are more banger video coming about Sierra Leone. so you have to stay tuned to watch all those videos